Hello YouTube, this is Ultima Man 12 here with my first Let's Play. And I'm choosing... Why? Why am I choosing this? Why? I don't know, it's just... This game has been a burden on me. I've hated this game for so long, ever since it came out. Because this is the first game I ever got for the Xbox 360. And I, I just... I don't know why I just chose to ch play this game. I just felt like, sometime in the future, if someone ever asked me to play through this game, I would have to say, no, just no, but I thought it'd be a good idea, just get this thing out of the way. It's horrible, it deserves to be broken into a million pieces, but I'm gonna play through it anyway. Don't know why. I'm not even gonna be bothered, I'm not gonna be bothered being quiet during these stupid cutscenes, because this game, it's just, it's just horrible. I just can't believe I liked this as a kid. I guess it was just the fact, oh, it's Sonic. Ooh, it's new graphics, oh, blah, blah, blah. But little did I realize at such a young age that this game is probably one of the worst things to ever be created by mankind. And it all starts with this one stupid girl. Why can't she just burn up in the fire? Why does she have to float? Just, just die. Please. Just die. Miss Elise? It, it's all right. <sighs> so I guess I should give you some background on this stupid game. Sega said that this game was supposed to be not a reboot of the Sonic series in the fact that it's a remake of the original, but that it was supposed to revolutionize gaming and make Sonic be the greatest character ever. But it just made the entire series worse than it is now. I mean, right now, Sonic's still in a really bad state, but games like Sonic Colors, Sonic Unleashed, they brought it back to some sort of glory, but this game is what broke it. Just everyone lost faith in the series. I mean, there's only maybe three good things that came out of this game. Mephilus the Dark, uh, Silver for some people, and some music. And that's it. There's nothing else good about this game. They even screwed up Eggman. Look at him. Just, why is he so thin? He shouldn't be this thin. In the first game, he was like a bowling ball. And she just broke the chaos somewhere. Did you see? Did you hear that? It just. Oh my god. I, I just. I don't know what to say about this. Wow, that's a pretty snazzy performance there. Those two don't look anything alike. How can you. I, I, okay, I think she's colorblind. One's silver, and one's blue. She, she can't understand the difference, apparently. And of course, more things you can't do in the game that they do in the cutscenes. Love that. I'm Sonic. Sonic the At least they kept that from all the other games. Please, just go away. I never really liked you. Never, a Silver. Never. Never liked you. I hate you as a character, and I hate your storyline, and I hate everything about you. Go away. Why is he helping her? Oh, good. Drop her in the lake, then. Just drop her. Please. I guess I should be keeping a count as how many times the princess gets kidnapped. I'd rather not. This game's not worth it. No shit. 
And don't worry, I'll rescue you. How would you know? But uh. hmm. it's only a matter of time before it's Yeah, mine. take her away with Until her then, miscolored legs. Ugh. I don't care if it's stockings or whatever, leggings. Her her face and her legs don't match. Oh my god. What were they thinking? Alright, we get it. It's flying away. We get it. Okay, I installed the game to the hard drive a long time ago just for this sort of situation, so the loading screens are still long, but they're not nearly as long as they would be if <laughs> didn't install it. They take like, I don't know, a couple minutes What's if you don't install the game. I need to gather some so, information. yeah, this is the first time we control Sonic, and everything's wrong about him. He runs slow, the spin dash looks like crap. Oh, and let's talk to Tails. You know, they messed up Tails, probably the worst out of all characters when it comes to the cutscenes. And let's see if he can figure it out. It's pretty obvious. Tails! Long time no see! I'm glad you're here. I heard that you tried to save Yep, the they stitched Tails' his mouth shut. It, it doesn't match his dialogue at all. When he does open his mouth, it's never when he's talking. It's just like he sits there for a couple seconds and decides to open his mouth again. Tails doesn't help at all. Most of the time, Tails, all he does is fall in the water and die. I don't know why we're running over here because we can't even go where we're supposed to go yet because we need rings to buy things. Huh. If I didn't have some music playing in the background now, right now, I'd probably be dead from the stupidity of this game and we haven't even done anything yet. Because this is the most glitchy, annoying, and stupid game I've ever played. Mundo, stupid old man, you want to jump through my hoops? <laughs> I don't even want to know how this old man just like threw hoops everywhere and telling you to jump through them like a stupid circus animal. And I'll give you some shoes. Yeah, this is their first town mission that you have to do because you need to get rings from him to buy uh, the light speed upgrade so you can travel across the lines of rings and get to the first level. So this is an easy first level to S rank since it's just too simple. Just jump through all the rings and don't take five minutes to do it. That's all you have to do. See, look, you have to spin around in circles just to land in the middle of those rings because when Sonic's falling from midair, you can barely control him. It seems like every character has problems when they're in midair. <laughs> so, this guy's gonna give us how many rings for getting an S rank? Uh, yeah, that S, and we get a thousand. Yeah, the grading scale for the town missions in the regular levels is different. For the town missions, you need 30,000 points to get an S rank, and then for the regular levels, you need 50,000. And that may seem like a lot, but if you break objects in the regular levels, you can get a lot more points. I don't even know why I'm trying to explain this, because hey. no one's going to play this game after this. I don't know why I'm doing it, but yeah, no one's going to play this game. And it doesn't even matter the S rank because what are you going to tell your friends? I got an S rank in every level in Sonic 06. They'll probably look at you like you're insane for wanting to play this game. So, let's hear Tails die. Alright. Perfect. And, no, get the ring. I hate the announcer for this game, too. He just... I, I don't know. Everything's wrong. Everything. Let's see if we can get past the first glitchy level of the game in... Five minutes. I've got to hurry and save Elise. You don't have to hurry and do anything. Alright. It's impossible, well, at least for me, to get over to that pad on the right side and get through that rainbow loop. It's, in, it's just impossible. So, keep running forward. These robots have a Vulcan shot attack that just shoots out little bullets one by one. 
and they'll tick off one ring every single time they hit you. So, if you have no rings and one bullet hits you, you're done. So, gotta watch out for them sometimes. Yeah, I'm not doing anything special for this game. I'm not gonna try and get S ranks and everything. There's only one thing that is optional that I wanna buy from the shop. There's only one. And then that's it. Not buying anything else. So I'm not worrying about it. Just trying to get through all the stages. And I do know some easy ways to get through stages without having to go through all the glitches in this game. So I'll try and show the why. Oh yeah, I'll try to show those off. For some reason the game really likes to slow down when you jump in the water. And it's not even like when you're in the water, it's just, oh, you're on land and you splash your feet in the water and the game just starts lagging. The game can't hang handle you being in the water for five seconds. I think we're making good time here. Yeah, the classic whales like to kill hedgehogs mechanic from it almost every 3D Sonic game. When you're on these dash pads, do not touch anything, because if you even make a movement, you'll just go flying off and die for no reason. Alright, so now we gotta play as Tails for this portion to push a switch to open a gate, so Sonic's an idiot and decides to jump on a whale. Now Tails' mechanics are all screwed up too, because Tails flies way too fast when he's in the air. You can't control him. He has the worst attack of any character in this game. The stupid dummy ring snipe. It doesn't work. And before you try to jump through any of these hoops, especially in later levels, you have to make sure you get to the edge of the platform and then jump, because if you just fly off the edge and then start flying, you won't make your jump and you'll crash and it won't be fun. Because this isn't, this, this isn't the last time we're going to be on the stage. Because we have to play through this entire stage again, but as Tails later. And I really don't understand why, but we got to. Alright, we're almost done with this section. There's an extra life over in this corner. Go up this cliffside. Take care of these robots. Whenever there's an explosive crate, always hit it because more than half the time it will kill a robot with it, so... Always try to aim for those. And now we're going to waste a minute just watching Sonic get propelled over a gate. And now one of the worst things about this game. The mock speed section of the stages. Worst things ever. They try to make Sonic go extremely fast. And it's a good concept, but it doesn't work. Do not go up that ramp. They make it seem like you can go and get an extra life, but it's a lie. Because you will crash, and you'll die, because if you touch anything in the mock speed sections, you'll hit the wall, and you'll die, and it won't be fun at all. I'm just trying to make it through this stage without dying, because I don't think I've ever done it before. I think I always die on this stage because of the glitches. Come on, don't touch me. I want to lose my rings. Don't touch any of the trees. Gotta be really careful on these bridges. Come on. So far, so good. Seems like the ship keeps stopping for me, but I don't know what that's all about. As soon as you land, jump. Dodge those robots. Don't go up there. I don't trust it. I didn't care about that metal. Land on the ramp. We should be home free, as long as it doesn't glitch up. Oh, okay, it glitched. No, no. What? Oh. Oh. We'll finish this stage next time. Thanks for watching.